Hi friends, welcome on board. This time I don't want to talk about electronics and electronic projects. However, I plan to address an important topic and that is the scientific method and skepticism. As you know recently, especially after the major earthquakes in Turkey, there have been individuals claiming to predict earthquakes based on factors like planetary alignments, and atmospheric fluctuations. It's crucial to approach these claims with uh, skepticism. Let me explain the scientific method by an example. We have earthquake phenomenon. This happens quite frequently. And we have another phenomenon also happens quite frequently. Something like planetary alignments, barking of dogs or animal behavior, temperature changes, magnetic anomalies, some special clouds in the sky, and etc. Somebody can easily connect these together and claim when this happens, then earthquake happens. But if two phenomena happen uh, at the same time, doesn't mean that these two are connected together. Science means that you have to prove that these two are really connected. And when this happens, this happens with some probability or definitely. You should give a number. Number means scientific. 70% probability, 50% probability or definitely this will happen. And somebody cannot, uh, you know, as I told you, uh, science means proving that these two phenomena are really related and somebody cannot fill the gap but whatever he likes like uh, planetary alignments and uh, electromagnetic forces, magnetic forces som sometimes change this to magnetic forces. Science is not as easy as the mass population thinks, unfortunately. The fact is, the majority of earthquakes, big or small ones, have no early warning signs or precursors. Yes, there are there are some studies that show that some uh, signs or precursors happened before some major earthquake, earthquake but there is no scientific, uh, that, but the scientific community ha has not confirmed that. And also, there have been many earthquakes, or, or let me tell you like this, many times these signs happened, but no earthquake happened. So, as of today, there is no sign that I that we would see as a precursor and see if we see this sign, then with the 50%, for example, of probability, probability, then we will have an earthquake. You know, we cannot put the life of people uh, under stress. We cannot then push them stress with maybe soon or late or every uh, you know twice a week or uh, a few times in a month just claiming that some areas we might have earthquake maybe people have life people have families we have because we have to go work there should be something measurable 50 percent probability definitely and also somebody should claim uh, should uh, prove uh, where when and let's say the magnitude, even if he doesn't say the magnitude, at least he should definitely, or with some measurable probability, he should confirm that an earthquake could, uh, might happen somewhere. For example, 10 kilometers away of Los Angeles at 5 p.m. Okay, that means something like a prediction or even forecasting. Okay, so the question is, now what we can do there is nothing or there is no variable that indicates that so far as of today there is no variable that indicates that it would be an earthquake somewhere none of these precursors are definite or reliable so what we can do the best action is that construction companies might uh, should uh, must follow earthquake resistant building codes and you as a citizen you have sub, you have you should have some knowledge to force these people to follow these rules 
really. When you don't ask and when you don't report, then and when you just buy whatever they built and whatever they offer you, then they don't need to follow anything. You know, this, you know why the uh, building collapsed in the Turkey? Uh, the term is pancake collapsing. Because the story, the, the scientific definition is because using a, a soft story building and the bad quality of the concrete which means sacrifice, sacrificing the space to create more shops in the first floor or parking spaces. Okay, that's it. So what we, what we can do as a citizen to enhance or increase our knowledge regarding this, because we should buy, we pay for these buildings. And my opinion is that even if the, these companies or even the government does not follow these rules, we have to push them to follow, okay? If the buildings are built based on earthquake resistance codes, then really nothing will happen. Nothing specially will happen, especially except so some damages maybe, or maybe even nothing. Very simple as that. See you in the next video.